Yo, what's up guys, it's Oreo, and I'm doing a combo guide for Naruto the Last. Um, just for starters, if you're going to be using this character as a main, do not use the little, um, the Rasengan barrage where he sends out a couple clones. Just stick with the regular Rasengan because, um, the other one doesn't link with combos at all. And I've been having trouble trying to get that together. But this one, you can just link it nicely if you wanted to. And you can't cancel the other one out. You can cancel this one. Just in case you run into like, you know, someone doing an ultimate jutsu, you just need to cancel or something. Um, but basically, let's start off with the neutral combo. The neutral combo is pretty nice. Um, it's very fast. You can't really chain um, jutsus off of that, but what you can do is uh, go here and jump up. Oh, wait, no, this. Right there. And right there, what you want to do is pop attack so you have a good distance from the character. So, just in case they try to attack you, you have enough time to um, throw the attack out there. So, you want to go like that. And um, even if they chakra dash you, you still have a fairly good amount of distance. You should be able to get the tag in there before they. Um, before they're able to dash or even attack you. And if you guys don't use tags or your items, I suggest you use those a lot. They come in handy uh, fairly well when you're playing. So I'm just gonna go like that, jump, and then pop a tag. So just practice that if you want to. It, um, it'll save your life. <laughs> Another one that you can do is that um, this Naruto, he still has his Rasen Shuriken. I said Rasen Shuriken, Demon Wind Shuriken. So you can substitute this out for this, but um, you just gotta realize that you do have to use Chakra for it. So if you're low on Chakra, I don't suggest you wasting it for uh, the Demon Wind Shuriken. I suggest you just use a tag. But... And these are safe at any, um, if you guys watch me play, uh, if I do like a, a knockdown, um, when they get up, I just throw a tag and then I go into the relay. It usually picks up if, uh, they're unexperienced players, if they don't roll out the way or they stay there for a quick second. Because this stops, like, all your motion. Even on block, it stops you. And that's just, just enough time to use that. And usually when you use that, either they're going to counter. Nobody ever remembers to counter, though. But they're going to, um try to block it for some reason or they're gonna substitute so you already waste uh, substitution by doing that and either it hit and you can get an ultimate jutsu if you want to be like an asshole or you can just start a combo but yeah so that's just the neutral combo I don't really I don't use the neutral combo a lot um, there's not much that you can do with it other than like setups like that so I don't really use that one a lot. Uh, my favorite one so far has to be the down combo. Um, you can do a lot off the down and up combo, but I like I prefer the down combo because it's quicker. And um, you can go into a grab with that. If you you have to pill cancel though, so if you guys don't know how to do that, you just do the combo, um, hold X in a way, and then pop a pill, and you should stand still. So I'll show you what that looks like. Like that. Fuck, I keep messing up. And that's basically what you're gonna do. Um, to get the grab off of that, I'm not sure if I pill cancel. Yeah, I think I did. Um, that's usually that's pretty safe because usually when people drop back to the ground they don't really they don't start off pressing circle unless you're pressing like a B masher or circle masher they usually drop down and they block so um, either they're gonna waste a sub on that grab that you do or they're either they're, they're just gonna get hit by it and the down combo is like pretty much your bread and butter it's really fast quick to the animation so I suggest you guys do the down combo more than any other combo on Naruto the Last. 
and then um, let me see his tilt his tilt is really good um, you can start combos off of that you can link combos off of that so you can go like this and uh, this uh, his down combo with the demon wind shuriken and um, the tilt it uh, it's like a guard breaking combo thing you, like you can forever do it Hold on, let me see. Gotta get it. See how you just link right back onto them? So you can keep doing that and break their guard if you wanted to. Oh, I messed up. Yeah, um, that kind of got whiffed out because of that rock, uh, but you guys get the just, like, you can just do that same setup, and, um, they won't, they won't have a chance to attack if you do that, especially if they don't have any subs, and they're just being really defensive, you want to just go into that, um, you can also start it off with this. But uh, you guys get the justice basically for people who play defensive when they don't have any subs and you can just break that easy. Um, I wonder if I can get the LTO. Um, Might have to be passed. Alright, so that doesn't hit. Um, another thing I noticed with a lot of characters is that, uh, the cancels in the game, if you, if you do, like, a jutsu and you cancel, you can cancel in the grab pretty fast. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. I gotta get down. You see how fast that is? That is basically, that's safe as ever. Um, since it's a grab, it's unblockable, and usually people, after you cancel, they try to counter, so you're already going to get that grab off or whatever you choose to do. Um, nobody ever really starts attacking when they see that rushing oncoming. They just hold block and defensive, so it's basically a good setup to uh, get the grab off. But as for this Naruto, like, linking Rasengans and stuff for this character is kind of hard. Uh, his combos don't have that much stagger like they used to and even if you did hit him in the air They just get the block off of it because it resets the combo and the um, blocking So the other one I want to show you guys is the up, up combo The up combo is really strong too Especially with demon one shurikens or attacks if you use that setup, then you can basically get a lot of subs out of your opponent. Uh, and also, be aware of like using your, your bombs too, because you can uh, get somebody off your back. Usually what I do is, um, if I'm running out of subs, I just block, and then I just throw the bomb right after it. Or uh, I do a combo, and I go like that, and then I throw the bomb straight after that, and it usually catches but yeah, you can go like that. Just some quick combo enders. And uh, we'll go back to the down combo. You can do the neutral jump. That rarely works. The best one to do is either like a demo and shuriken to this. Or you do a tag to this. I prefer the tags because they're a lot faster and smoother. You need the demon one shuriken. Your character has to drop to the ground and reset before you can do um, the relay. So I would say that you just do the tag and go with it. You can go into OT if you want to. Oh, shit. I didn't hit. I was doing OT if that worked. I think this one might send them too far. It could be the um the up combo. Let me see. Yeah, it's the up combo that does it. So the up combo is safe, the down combo don't do it. Um and then you can go into like air combos if you want to. 
Um, sometimes, like, real, a lot of people waste their chakra dashes on uh, linking up in the air. You can just double dash link in the air in most cases. Let's see. Let's see, you don't have to waste chakra to do that. Um, in this game, your chakra dash is like your bread and butter. If you don't have chakra, you're basically um, losing the match already. So try to keep that in mind that you can just double dash into somebody after doing like a um, combo. You don't have to waste your chakra for that. But in any case, you should remember those setups. That's what I'm saying. Like the um, the paper tags are very powerful. They're a strong tool to use in this game. And um, if you keep that in mind, you can most likely always get the relay or at least waste their sub. That's what you really want to do is just waste their subs because once you do that, then you can rip into them with all the combos. Yeah, um... And as for the Rasengan, I still haven't found anything that like links together. But this one, this one is better because you can do the uh, Rasengan in the air. It's better than the one that's automatically on this Naruto. So I suggest you guys just use that Rasengan. And let me see, is there anything else? Anything else with this character? Um, I haven't found. I I don't know if I can get the grab off of it. It might be too slow. Oh no. You can get the grab off the up combo without even canceling. You don't have to peel cancel, just like pause your combo for a second, hold the block, and then go for it. So we do that. There we go, yeah. Um, so just keep in mind that, you know, using your tags and items will help you a lot in the game. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, so you can link that up with the, up, the jump pressing gun. I think you have to do it fast, you can't be slow when you do it. I can't get it. Yeah, fuck it. I can't get it. But um, just keep in mind that using those and just remember all the setups and stuff and using your tags, and you'll be you'll be a good Naruto the Last fighter. Um, to me, Naruto the Last isn't that good. I rather use um, Rikido. Not, not Rikido, six paths, Naruto, he's a lot better, he has a lot more moves, um, but yeah, if this guide helps you, slap a like on the video, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, I'm almost at 2k, so the hype is real, and I'm at a real, thanks for watching.